Welcome to the fourth lecture on sequence of real numbers. Today we will discuss that every convergent sequence of real numbers are bounded. We know what is bounded sequence that we have done in the first class and we also know what is convergent sequence. What is convergent sequence? A sequence is said to be a convergent sequence if that sequence has a limit. And what is bounded sequence? If we can find two real numbers such that all the terms of that sequence is bounded by those two real numbers. Then we call that sequence bounded sequence. So today we will prove that every convergent sequence is bounded. Here is the theorem. So this sequence it is convergent that means it has a limit and that means uh, there exists some real number let us say uh, L and L is the limit of this sequence. So limit n tends to infinity xn is L and we want to prove that this sequence is bounded. It is by, by a bounded sequence we mean it is bounded above as well as bounded below sequence. Let us prove that since L is the limit of uh, this sequence L should satisfy epsilon n definition. Okay? So that means for every epsilon there exists a natural number n such that all the terms beyond that natural number all the terms lie in the epsilon neighborhood. Here we will choose a particular epsilon and so in particular for epsilon equal to 1 there should be some natural number n such that beyond this natural number all the terms x sub n lie in this uh, neighborhood in this range l minus 1 and l plus 1 ok. So we can see clearly that beyond this uh, natural number all the terms are lying in this range. So only finally many terms are left these are x1, x2 up to xn let us consider these terms separately. So here we consider B that is minimum of this finally many terms first n terms and L minus 1 that is this value and capital B that is maximum of this first n terms and L plus 1. So then for all natural number n this term nth term xn it should lie in this range because beyond this natural number these terms are bounded by L minus 1 and L plus plus 1 and if we set B that is minimum of these finite values and L minus 1 and capital B that is maximum of this and L plus 1 then all the terms should lie in this range. So we can see that this uh, sequence it is bounded above by this real number and bounded below by this real number. So it is bounded sequence. So every convergent sequence that should be bounded. As a consequence of this theorem we can uh, see that an unbounded sequence it is not convergent. So if a sequence is unbounded then it does not have a limit. It, it, it cannot be convergent sequence. So the following sequences are unbounded hence these are not convergent sequence. Now let us verify why this sequence is uh, unbounded. So uh, some correction it should be n power a. Why this sequence is unbounded? Let us verify this. So this sequence n power a it is it is bounded below and let us say one, 1 is the lower bound, 1 is a lower bound, okay. It can have many lower bounds but 1 is a lower bound and 1 is also there in the range of this sequence. Anyway, this is bounded below sequence but n power a, this is not bounded above. Why? So if possible, let there exist some real number capital B such that all the terms n power A that is less than or equal to B for all n and then 
this n it is less than or equal to b power 1 by a for all n belongs to the set of natural numbers is it possible answer is no because this b power 1 by a this is some fixed real number and you can always find a natural number that is greater than this value okay so it is not possible that all the natural numbers are less than or equal to some fixed value so this is a contradiction this is a contradiction and this contradicts the assumption that it is uh, all the terms are bounded above by b so it is not possible it is it is not bounded above so this is unbounded sequence and hence as a consequence this sequence it cannot be a convergent sequence in fact uh, it 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 is of course it is divergent sequence because it is not convergent and one can verify that it diverges to uh, plus infinity what about this second sequence so if we write the terms here so first term is 1 second term is 2 power 2 and third term is 1 upon 3 power 3 and fourth term 1 upon 7 power 7 so on now if we mark these uh, terms we can see that these terms are tending to infinity so it is getting larger and larger and it is tending to infinity as n tends to infinity so hence this is hence this sequence it is unbounded and hence it, it is not convergent sequence now uh, so as a consequence of that theorem we can say that if a sequence is unbounded then it cannot be a convergent sequence but what about bounded sequence we cannot conclude anything so if a sequence is bounded then we cannot conclude whether it is convergent sequence or not for example uh, if we consider this sequence it is bounded sequence but uh, it does not have a limit so it is not a convergent sequence okay however every bounded sequence of real numbers has a convergent subsequence that is bolzano oesters theorem that we will do in the later part I'll stop here.